Breaking news. Garuba Shewu cried after Federal High Court declared bandits as terrorists. Says 14,500 Boko Haram members have surrounded, have surrendered. They should have given them more time. You see Garuba Shewu crying and soliciting for his brothers to be treated with respect, to be treated with honor, to be treated properly and to be given undue respect. And he was the first person to insist that uh, uh, Onandi Kano should remain in custody and that nothing... You see these people, eh? when you look at it, you understand the heart of a man. Okay, You see a woman who is ready to uh, hold a keg of petrol and pour it on somebody else's son for committing a crime or doing something that is really wrong. And instead of, uh, you know, instead of her to take... As a woman, take on that young man and do the right thing, you know, help him, you know, get the best. But guess what? He did? Guess what? She's ready to ensure that he's destroyed. But if it's her son, reverse is the case. She'll be the one saying, please forgive him. He's only a child. Blah, 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 blah. You see, human being, when it gets to your turn, you say it is, uh, it's, it's not like that. When you get somebody else, you say, that's it. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Thank you. Garuba Shewu cried as bandits have been declared terrorists, saying 1,500 Boko Haram members have surrendered already. The senior special assistant to President Muhammadu Buhari on media and publicity, Garuba Shewu, has said that the recent statistics have shown that over 1, 14,000, I beg your pardon, 14,500 Boko Haram members have voluntarily surrendered due to the endless effort of President Muhammad Buhari in tackling insecurity in the country. Shewu disclosed this yesterday in Castina while presenting a paper titled Fake News. Challenges of information management at the 10th annual anniversary of the Federal University, Destu. He said recent statistics have shown that over 14,500 Boko Haram members have voluntarily surrendered. So, how come we still go around and declare them terrorists? However, the progress made cannot be denied in the fact that of rising criminal and insecurity, the government now need new commitments and policies intending to ensure that they launch out to bring about confidence in the people once again. Some 10,000 new constables were recruited and the process is still on for another 10,000 recruited, recruited for various areas and safeguarding of the nation. He added the government hopes this will bring Policing close to local community. 13 billion was marked for the initial initiative by the plans. Every year we see additional 10,000 policemen. He explained that President Muhammad Buhari deserves credit for making sure Nigeria becomes safe. According to him, the threat to civilians and peaceful coexistence between ethnic, ethnic and religious groups from farm herds clashes to banditry and land disputes of serious concern is of serious concern to President Muhammad Buhari. Garuba Shewu said President Muhammad Buhari's administration is the only government in Nigeria that has put effort towards workable solution to bring an end to all these things going on and the challenges prevailing the country. In his remark, he said we should continue to encourage these people to come out instead of speaking against them. So this is Garuba Shewu crying out and saying it is the right, the government should take the right step instead of declaring them as terrorists, the, that um, the, um, a number of them have come out and that they should be supported instead of treated with this, instead of being treated with disdain, that the people should be supported and more and more should come out, you know, and that and they should be supported to become to get and to give their support in every area anyway my wonderful people this is currently what is happening this is what is going on 
you know i can't believe that this is you know garuba she is actually crying for this set i can't believe that you know he's actually coming out to say uh they should be treated in this way and in this manner the same garuba Shewo, you know that is that is the first the same garuba Shewo that is the first to say uh, uh nigeria uh, nigerian government uh they should uh, not free nandi kano nandi kano should be treated with iron fist and uh, this that 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 i mean so how does this you want nandi kano to be treated with iron fist but you want your own to be treated you know with levity to be treated you know very kindly and all that can you see human being like the example i initially gave Okay, the, the first example I gave, look at what Gumi is saying. Gumi said, uh, Buhari just follow the pressure of the people that does not change anything and things must remain the way they are. That Buhari is just only going after the, you know, the pressure being mounted on him by Nigerians uh, with regards to this matter. But currently, truly speaking, Buhari's heart is quite different from everything that is being said and what have you and what have you. So you see, my people, the truth of the matter is... Um, they are telling you one thing, but really, truly speaking, in their heart, they mean another. Okay? They are telling you, oh, um, we want change, we want this, we want that. But in their heart of heart, it's quite different from what um, their heart is saying. Okay? They are saying A, but what they really mean is B. Or they are saying B, what they really mean is A. So, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not really, it's, there's no honesty in it. There is no honest, I mean, there is no honesty in the whole matter. Okay, people are not honest. They are not really sincere and ready to ensure that, you know, the truth is told. To a large extent, what they follow is, you know, is a deceit, so to say. Like, sincerely speaking, is really a deceit. Not because they are ready to tell Nigerians the truth or because they want, uh, you know, those who have committed crime to be dealt with. What they want is they are for themselves. What they want is for themselves. So this is what is happening, my wonderful people. And this is what is going on right now. Uh, we cannot continue to lie to ourselves and expect, and expect a different, uh, you know, a different uh, uh, report. We must be very honest. Okay. Leave us a comment. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you've got a voice. Let it count. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. You matter. Don't forget that. God bless. Bye.